Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of August 8th through the 14th, 2021, or whenever you find it. It will be just exactly the right time for you, right? Hopefully it will resonate with you. Um, if you need more information, you can check your moon and rising signs. Um, everything's in the description below. If you're interested in astrology and don't know where to begin, astro.com. I, I put the link down there for you. So you can check that out. Um, it is user friendly. Uh, date of birth, time of birth, place of birth. And it'll give you your natal chart and give you a lot of information about you. And where you, you know, can go from there and, and find out more information. And it's free. And again, very user friendly. All right. What do we have got going on for cancer? If you're interested in any of the decks I'm using, um... They are listed also below. And if you'd like a walkthrough of anything, if you ever see a deck and you think, oh, I'd love to see the whole deck, then just let me know. I'll be glad to do a walkthrough of it. And ooh, that one wants out. Beautiful. And if you are interested in a more personal private reading, um, my website is listed below. We are the Princess of Summer on the bottom of the deck. Or some conscious, some conscious, what we're, you know, not aware of. Gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. Beautiful. The Page of Cups energy. A new relationship or emotional experience. Invitation to social events. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. Beautiful card. I love the wings. All right. So that isn't on the bottom of the deck. So it could be... Um, some new ideas, some new, um, could be a new love interest, or it could be somebody coming in that will just show, you know, you compassion, things like that. So we have the fool starting out. We have the dreamer and we have the queen of autumn, which is the queen of pentacles. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful. So you could have new ideas coming in about money. You could have new ideas coming in about how you want to spend money or make money. Or um, the queen to me is always the, the person behind the scenes. Like she is the one that gets everything together and then the king pushes it through, right? You have this beautiful rabbit, the fertility there. You have all the abundance. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is generous, generous, I can't talk. Generous, stylish, gracious, practical. I was trying to say all the words at once. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make everything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. To me, the, the Pentacles is, again, it's a grounding energy. So it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is your growth. It is your money. It is your um, elegance. You know, it is it is your your treat to yourself. It's beautiful abundance you know so you have this new beginning starting so are you starting a new job are you coming into new money what is your um, what it what is it that you're doing what is it that you're managing is what I'm hearing embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure trust yourself so the fool is all about or the dreamer is all about trusting their gut instinct to go go with what they know to be true and something I can't help noticing on this queen is her pointing and it's almost like her eyes are closed she's trusting her intuition you see this beautiful energy swirling around her her wand and she's pointing and you don't know what she's pointing at. And it. Is she pointing at the fool? You know. Trust your instincts. Follow follow your path. Money will. You know. There will be growth. There will be fertility in money. Starting out on a new journey. Maybe starting out on a new job. You know, the pinnacles are all about our, um, our money, our work. Our all, you know, material possessions. Uh, 
All right, let's see what the middle card's going to pull. So trusting yourself, going out on a limb. Going out on a limb, trusting yourself, trusting your instincts. Listening to yourself, not anybody else. And what I keep hearing for a change. Listen to yourself for a change. It's like an ant, you know, or, or a grandmother or something saying, listen to yourself for a change. Listen to your guidance. Trust your own guidance. Trust yourself. I love, too, on this card how there's like a, um, a glow around the fairy. Look at those heels. A glow, and it's like, you know, being lit from within. Having this beautiful light shine through you. So we have this beautiful card. And it is habits. Examine habits that may impede the pathways to your goals and encourage beneficial ones. So we'll turn that right here for right now. Hmm, habits. Interesting. So you have the page of summer, so you have the page of cups. So you can have a new love interest coming in, possibly, on the back burner. There could be somebody, since this is on the bottom of the deck, it could be somebody that you're aware of or you're waiting for but with that card too and with this card maybe you know don't make it a habit of waiting for people you know people need to do what they say they're going to do actions and words actions and words right So we have habits. So we have habits starting new. You know, they say it takes 28 days to make a new habit. So maybe it's something you're starting new. Maybe you're starting a new venture with money. Because again, you have the Queen of Autumn, which is the Queen of Pentacles. It's getting things ready to, to launch. Getting something ready to launch. Getting something ready. Getting Putting the final touches on something. Trusting your gut instinct. Maybe that's a habit you need to start um, implementing. Trust yourself more. This is a message from your self, your higher self to yourself now. So it could be the, your, next, your next week self to this week self. Or next year or, or five years ago self. Oh, I guess that's the card. Your purpose is joy. There's that rabbit again. If rabbit is significant to you, then, you know, obviously this reading is, is meant for you. Not that it's not meant for anybody else, but it is a general reading. So, But there may be something in here you really need to hear. And it's funny because they have a crown on their head. pinnacle energy your purpose has nothing to do with how you make a living that's your vocation mission or inspired passion all worthy but your purpose is much simpler and bigger your purpose is joy it's all about discovering nurturing and celebrating who you truly are and knowing and loving yourself at the deepest level and that is gorgeous to go with the queen of pentacles energy that's pretty much exactly what she is right she's nurturing and she's celebrating who she truly is and knowing and loving yourself at a deepest level and even though she's a queen this could if, if you're a male watching this this can still i mean it that it's just the energies male female it's just the energies but the queen is usually more passive uh behind the scenes you know and then the king is the one who implements everything the queen could be getting all the ducks in the row and then the king implements it i just find that so so interesting that of the rabbit and the crown so it's like the rabbit took the crown the fertility abundance growth beautiful card absolutely beautiful card so watch your habits um spending is what i keep hearing too 
Now, again, the, the queen is pinnacle, so she is that, you know, your money sector in a sense. So maybe watch your spending. Maybe um, if you've get, gotten into the habit of spending a little bit too much on a certain thing, on some indulgence, then, you know, maybe scale back on that a little bit. But I see with the rabbits is growth, you know, you know how fast rabbits multiply. So it's whatever you're putting out there, whatever you're working on project wise, whatever new that you're starting. If you're starting a new job, you're starting a new money venture, it will grow exponentially. You'll have gr big growth in this. So we're going to read real quick um, out of the book for habits. If I can find the book. Here we go. And see if it sheds any light on the card. This says the habit card is an indication that you should look at your habits and or those of other persons involved in your situation to see if you are dealing with habits that heal or habits that harm your goal. We all evolve habits to help us deal with our daily life, especially with its challenges. Thinking of oneself as a creative person or an artist, definitely is a good habit to cultivate. Habitually criticizing yourself and your work or others and their work is not is not and works against your best interest. This card may be a reminder to look at your old habits and your habits, which is currently called your workflow, to see if you are best practicing to bring your ideas. Okay, this card can be the reminder to look at your work habits, what is currently called your workflow, to see if you are using best practices to bring your ideas to bring your ideas into reality. Don't think that's written right, but that's how it's written. So yeah, that's it's beautiful with the queen, you know. So what what are you bringing forth? What are you what are you manifesting? What are you manifesting that is abundance? Um, and not everything worth worth everything is you know, um, money oriented, right? Think, some things you can't buy. You can't buy love. You can't buy joy. You can't buy happiness. And that's kind of where this card is saying, you know, your purpose is joy, discovering, nurturing, nurturing, and celebrating who you truly are. All right. So who are you and what are you manifesting? What are you bringing forth? What is this new beginning you're, you're setting out on? Do tell me, Cancer. Very interesting. Um, I'll be, um, I'm very intrigued to know if this resonates with you. So please let me know and um, leave me a, a comment in the description if you'd like to. I'd like to know um, if this has helped anybody or made sense to anybody. <laughs> so I really, truly appreciate you all being here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. I will see you all next time. Have a very safe and blessed week and bye for now.